I'm Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle with 31 Triple Doppler. This heat and humidity is no joke. Every time this year, I am one step closer to just buzzing my hair. It does nothing for no, us. I'm afraid it's only going to get worse. It yes. is, yeah. Next couple of days, we're going to continue pretty much more the same. A little bit of a back down in the humidity for the weekend, but it's still going to be muggy nonetheless, just not quite as bad as it is right now. Uh, let's talk about temperatures and feels like numbers over the next few days, and they're going to stay basically in the range that uh, we picked up yesterday and again today. Mid 90s uh, continue Thursday, Friday, and that feels like temperature remains at or above the threshold for a heat advisory. 107 is uh, where it'll peak in many spots tomorrow, maybe down a little bit on Friday, but still running at around 105 on the heat index. And then Saturday, again, some relief. Temperatures down into the low 90s, and the feels like number actually won't be too far off, only a few degrees higher at 95 as the humidity ebbs ever so slightly behind a cold front that will move in for the end of the week. Tomorrow, though, our heat advisory back in effect noon until 7. 105 to 109 is what it'll feel like here for a large part of the area. And keep in mind, just west of the Tennessee Valley, there are excessive heat warnings where feels like temperatures could hit 110 or higher. And, and there was some talk with the National Weather Service that uh, maybe some of the uh, most western counties here in North Alabama could be upgraded to a heat warning tomorrow. So we'll be watching for that potential and something that meteorologist Grace Anella will let you know if that has changed uh, overnight when you wake up first thing tomorrow morning. So be sure to check back with her then to get the latest on the heat. Otherwise, uh, we are watching quieter weather back in here. Storm activity does continue a little cluster around St. Louis, parts of Nebraska, close to Cincinnati. Notice all the motion on this counterclockwise. There's a big bubble of high pressure centered over the Arklatex this afternoon. It's actually kind of protecting us. Most of the uh, active weather is on the periphery of this area high pressure. So we are not expecting a repeat of last night where we're going to have to watch storms that could get steered here into North Alabama or southern middle Tennessee. Looks like we will miss out on that. And for the most part, any rain that we see through tomorrow, extremely, extremely isolated. A couple pinpoint showers may still pop between now and uh, we'll say six or seven this evening, but most of us dry heading into this evening as well as tonight. Some clouds first thing tomorrow morning, and then we'll see a mixture of clouds and sun tomorrow afternoon. And once again, uh, rain could be a no show across the area for your Thursday. It's just all about the heat and humidity. We headed to your Friday. The morning starts off quiet enough, but as we work our way towards midday, seeing indications that a round of showers and thunder showers may develop and pop on through. Uh, the question is when this will develop and where it will happen here in the Tennessee Valley and those are answers we'll hope to have for you in more detail as we get a little bit closer. But Friday probably our next chance for seeing a little bit of wet weather. The question is just how much will we see pass through the area before it's all said and done. For tonight, warm, muggy, 77, Muscle Shoals and Huntsville only dropping to 76, Decatur, Gunnersville down to 74, 76 in Scottsboro tonight. Your planner tomorrow is another hot one, climbing well into the 80s by 10. We'll be in the low 90s at the noon hour tomorrow afternoon, hitting the mid 90s. And that breeze, not much help there. It'll stay light out of the west and the southwest, running just under 10 miles per hour. Highs include 96 in Huntsville, 97 Decatur. Could be near 100 in Muscle Shoals, 95 in Scottsboro, and 94 over in Fort Payne tomorrow. Here's your Way 31 Storm Tracker. 10-day Thursday, Friday. Temperatures about the same, but for the weekend, we do trim the heat just a little bit back into the low 90s. There's your rain chance right now, keeping it low. 10% Friday, 10% on Saturday. Nothing expected on Sunday. And throughout next week, uh, no huge changes appear to be on the way. Dry weather for much of the week with hot temperatures, muggy conditions. Highs will remain in the mid 90s towards the end of next week into next weekend. Maybe a little uptick in rain and thunderstorm activity, but that's still a long ways off. Uh, we'll. Uh, of course, deal with that as we get a little bit closer. Not a bad forecast other than it's hot and it's humid, but at least we finally have gotten out of that rainy pattern that we were in yes. for all of last week and this past weekend. Yep, that is true. 96, did you see that on there I for know. Friday? Yeah, a little toasty. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.